This is video number 101 for all the instruments, and in this video we're going to learn another new articulation, bowing articulation, called hooked bows. Okay, so open up to your book to page uh, 41, and look at what you have there right at the very top. Now, hooked bows are kind of, in a way, they're kind of a combination between slurs and staccatos, which seem to be complete opposites, right? Because slur is playing things very, very smoothly, and staccato use stop notes. But if you look at the, the little markings that it has there, it has both staccato marks as well as a slur mark. You could think of it also as a tie mark. Just kind of depends on which way you're thinking. It's got the staccato and the slur mark or tie mark. Now you remember what this curved line means. It doesn't necessarily mean slur because it could mean tie. A curved line means you don't change bow direction. Okay, and the, the dot, the staccato mark, means you stop the bow. So you know how you probably, when you very first learned slurs, it was hard to get you to not stop the bow, and now we're supposed to stop the bow, okay? So what you're going to do is look at, just measure 1 and 174. Look at the first two notes. See the little, the little curved line between the first two notes? means both notes are going to be down bow. But the dots, the two dots, the staccato marks, mean you're going to stop your bow. Okay? Because otherwise they'd just be a tie. So watch. Instead of playing like that, you're going to go, wait, wait. Okay? I want you just to do this. I want you to go two open Ds, down bow, then down bow. I'm going to turn the metronome on. And I want you to freeze. Okay? Because it's not uncommon for people to think just kind of like with slurs, remember we thought we were going to slur and then whatever, your, your brain's like, hey, I'm going to slur and then you don't, right? Same thing here. So just do the first two notes of 174. Down, wait, down, wait. Try that. Red, C, and go. Down, down. Now freeze, you should be at the tip of the bow. Go back to the frog. Try it with me, and red, C, and go. Down, wait. Try it again. Okay, I'm going to go a little slower, that might actually help. That's better. With me, and just down, down. Red, say, and go. Down, wait, down, freeze. Okay, now go just on open D. Go down, down, up, up. And with me, just an open D. Now look at your music. Red, say, and go. Down, down, up, up. Try it again. Red, say, and go. Down, down, now up. So notice, I'm going to give equal parts to each note. I'm going to give the first chord note half a bow, the second chord note half a bow. All right? Try that again. Red, say, and go. Down, down, up, up, down, down. Now, what you might want to do at this point is pause the video and practice just down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. That'd be the best thing for you to do, okay? Unfortunately, I can't be there to see if you're going the right direction. You might do this. You might video yourself and see, okay, am I doing down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up? Because until you see it, you don't really know. And until someone's watching you, you don't really know. Okay, now, what I want you to do on 174, I want you to actually bow in the air first. Go down, down, up, up. Okay, as I play it, you're doing this. Okay? And bow in the air. You're not shy to bow in. Bow in the air. Red, I'm going to play it. You're going to bow in the air. Like that. And right to go. Down, down, up. Down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Down. Now careful, it changes here. Now slow bow, slow bow. Shadow bow up, putting fingers down. Okay? And 174, shadow with me. And one, two, and go. Down, down, now up with E. Now sharp down. G up, up. Down A's, up bow B's, down C sharp. D, second line, slow bow. Now up, up, slow bow. Wait. 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 Down. Up. Off. Oh. OK? 
Okay, now you notice on the second line I was saying weight, much like I did when I had you first learning staccato, it is a very common problem to rush or go too fast on when you have up bow hooked bows. It's a very common problem and that all has to do with not waiting. That's why we have our eighth notes on. We listen for that click and we are stopped on that click. Okay, so we have that click. This is the second line. Click, click. Hear that? Listen for that click. What you're trying to do okay if you're ready play with me from the beginning and down down up up and red C and go wait 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 click 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 don't stab your notes don't let your bow go too fast second line slow slow one make sure you're not stabbing make sure you're not um, rushing okay a way that you can use the correct amount of bow but still stab is if you go too fast with your bow watch I'm gonna go I'm gonna stab the notes I'm gonna still use half a bow but I'm gonna go too fast hear that I'm moving too fast I need to slow the bow down and give it a full half a beat wait wait Wait, wait, okay? Some people will do that. If you sound that way, that's because you're moving your bow too fast. You're too much of a hurry to get to halfway point. Don't worry about it. It's the same speed as a regular chord note. You just stop. Okay? So practice making, um, like, not, not really necessarily smooth because you're stopping your note, right? but not like gross and stabby, okay? Practice getting that bow control so you don't sound angry, <laughs> okay? And then you'll be ready for your next video.